So, uh, I wouldn't usually make a video like this, so-called uh, unboxing video. I uh, usually see it with some other tech stuff, but not so much with musical instruments. However, uh, I'm going to make an exception because this is a special uh, box I'm going to open. It's got the new push inside, and that is an instrument with which I've had a really nice relationship for the last uh, two, two and a bit years. I use the word relationship, I know, it's already concerning. <laughs> so, here's the box, a uh, nice simple design as we'd expect from our friends at Ableton. Fluo green, yellow interior, pretty eye-catching. Grey styrofoam, nice touch, why not? Uh, and, what do we have here? The new push, Merry Christmas. Well. Uh, getting there. Um, what can we see straight away? Uh, if I hold it up sideways, you can see that basically all the buttons and pads are level with the with the the case, um, and that itself has got this kind of satin aluminium finish. It's um, it's not like the sort of vulcanized rubber that you had on the first push. Um, which got very sticky and attracted lots of dirt and well, I say lots. I liked I like to keep things clean, so it drove me a bit nuts. Um, this looks much better in that respect. What else can you see? Some practical things like the these two knobs that were here have moved up, so it's all in a row. So you're packing it up. That's uh, going to help you and save some space. I know it's going to be good for me because I'm often hunting for those extra few centimeters in my music. Uh, bag uh, when I'm on the road. Uh, what else? Screen is bigger. Uh, so we can expect some things there, I think. What else? The pads. Yeah, silky smooth. Uh, I mean, don't want to make this too fetishistic, fetishistic, fetishistic uh, um, but uh, I think it's going to be interesting for, for playing, you know, doing sort of glissando. Uh, what else? Um, the layout has changed a bit of the buttons. I think we can talk about that more in another video. Speaking of which, I'm going to make more videos on the subject, so please subscribe. There's a little red button underneath the video. And uh, what else is there underneath? Uh, you can see there's some info, serial number, etc. Pads, there's some bigger pads here. Uh, the unit itself feels a little bit lighter, I think, so I think that'll be to help it from sliding around. And uh, at the back, we've got uh, the two pedal inputs you can use for sustain, like on a normal piano. Uh, session record, you can turn on off. Um, do check which kind of pedals work with these, because there are different kinds of pedals on, out there in the market. Some start positive, some start negative, and so on. I'm sure Google knows the answer, or I'll look it up and maybe put it in the notes here. USB 2 port, uh, power, and uh, Kensington lock, that's new. That's nice, you got it in studio, we go down the road, you can keep your push safe. And um, that's it in terms of ports. Uh, put that on the side. Cables, uh, USB cable, L-shaped, it's a nice touch. It means uh, it'll run along the back uh, of the unit. Take up less space. Um, uh, kind of global, universal power unit. It's a nice ecological touch there as it saves up making lots and lots of those units, and you've got different adapters for each country. That's a nice touch. Um, here, I there's nothing. <laughs> I guess it's because it's an earlier version. Perhaps here is coming a booklet or or maybe even a CD of some kind. Silica gel, don't eat. That's what they always say. Um, I'm going to follow instructions this time. Um, yeah, what else is there to do? I think I could compare it just quickly with the the first uh, original push from two and a half years ago. Let's put this box to the side. So, here we have the new kid on the block. And here we have our old trusty friend. Yeah, I'll just check there in the view. Okay. Um, what can you see? Yeah, you can see the new push. It's a wee bit taller, um, but it's a, like a good half centimeter, like less tall. Um, so it's 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 basically 
not as bulky as the original. The pads on the old ones stick up a lot. That's probably part of the part of the reason. You can see the difference in the layout of the knobs. Like I say, I think that's a really nice change. Um, two cursor pads, interesting. We'll be looking at that later. The screen, it's not double the size, but it's quite a lot larger. Um, and what else? I think those are the main things. It's definitely going to be easier to keep clean, which is just, i got to say, really nice. Um, and uh, there's a different tactile quality in the, the pads. Like the, on the new push, they're much, much smoother um, compared, to the, compared to the old one. But I'll always love you. Uh, and looking forward to talking more about this. Like I say, more videos to come. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few different things. Uh, maybe even try and do a couple of uh, jams. So please subscribe. I'll try and put a video, uh, sorry, uh, a clickable button somewhere here with the space here, I guess, once I work out how. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't too uh, too uh, nerdy, but I thought, why not? Special day. So thanks for watching. Take care.